It is known quite simply as the first genocide of the 20th century, a campaign of ethnic extermination by the then German Empire or Second Reich on the over Herero and Nama people as they rebelled against the coalition of Southwest Africa, which is now Namibia. Tens of thousands of people killed as the Germans hit back. It's estimated that 80% of Ova Herero and 50% of the Nama people living there were killed, many driven from their homes and dying from dehydration, others killed in concentration camps. Well, now, after 15 years of negotiation with Namibia, Germany has acknowledged its role in the genocide and for the first time now agreed to pay compensation, committing to give more than 1.3 billion euros in aid to the country and the descendants of victims. Today we refer to these events as they were, a genocide. We are therefore acknowledging our historical responsibility. And in the light of Germany's historical and moral responsibility, we will ask Namibia and the descendants of the victims for forgiveness. And as a gesture of recognition of the immeasurable suffering that was inflicted on the victims, we want to support Namibia and the descendants of the victims with a substantial program worth 1.1 billion euros aimed at the reconstruction and development. For the descendants, though, the aid to be spent over 30 years still not enough. The trauma of what happened still not erased and the loss impossible to calculate. There also remain many German descendants in Namibia itself. Campaigners saying Germany should buy back ancestral lands now being lived on by the German-speaking community. Concerns remaining the population could even rise up to try to retake the land by force. Well, Caroline Dumais, Stefan Carstens, Sophie Lamotte and Nadine Theron revisit Namibia for France 24. The body of Chief Rukoro left the capital of Vintuk the night before his burial for a journey of 400 kilometers to the north. The young, the old, the rich and the poor. Everywhere along the route his people greeted him, as if to wish him a safe journey to the underworld. In the tradition of the Ova Herero, the entourage returned to the village of his ancestors, where the hearse was escorted by horsemen. Yes, he was a good chief. Because he bring the, the, the money from the Germans. Chief Rokoro fought for the recognition of the genocide of his people in the German War of 1904. They worshipped him. Seven gunshots were fired in his honor. The deceased widow and his younger brother wanted to send a message. The fight is still ahead. This is not the end. This was the end of, of his elder brother, but the fight of the, of, of the genocide is still going because it's within the blood. And the convoy continues along its path, 300 kilometers further south, in the direction of Okahanja, where all the heroes of the Ova Herero struggle are buried. The Herero chief died of COVID, as did the other two negotiators of the historic agreement with the German government. Great soldiers do not die. They simply fade away into the world of silence. Silence, which is the very essence of our existence. Two months later, the people gathered again under the guardianship of the Ova Herero Genocide Foundation, which maintains the memory of these years with texts and photos, the elimination of the civilian populations of the German colony called Southwest Africa is perfectly documented. 
from concentration camps to executions. The colonizer can't deny the atrocities. Berlin has publicly apologized to Ventuk and agreed to give more than a billion dollars to Namibia last May. I couldn't care less about apologies. We are demanding what was taken from us. What was taken from us? Our cattle, our livelihoods, our land. The land that the Germans took from us, they did not take it in a bag with to Germany. It's still here. Their children are sitting on our land. One billion is not enough. And mathematicians like this renowned professor calculated what his community lost in 1904 up to the cent. My great-grandmother um, used to tell us how people were killed by the Germans and cooked to feed pigs. So imagine the psychological trauma that comes with that. Um, every Herero and every Nama need some psychological therapy. So we actually have quantified that. The psychologists charge $80 for consultation for a visit. Okay? So, and uh, I'm uh, starting from the assumption that the population of the Namas and Herero is 320,000. That's what we need to understand. It would take at least $8 million. Intergenerational trauma must be addressed in these communities that live between the present and the past. There is that belief uh, of incarnation that um, some people today that we see today are an incarnation of some people who died years back. So who had not finished their mission on the earth. So they were asked to come back and complete their mission. We still reflect what our ancestors stood for. We are part of, of, of them, and probably some of us could be our ancestors that have come back to come and complete the mission. The professor, whose grandmother was buried in Okahanja, regularly visits his family who never left their birthplace. His grandfather's brother lives sparsely. He says he trusts the traditional authorities to negotiate with the Germans. Everyone here thinks that one billion is not enough, and that there are parts of history that have been completely forgotten. The question of children, for example, born from the rape of a rare woman by German soldiers. Gottlieb is one of them. And during 1904, my grandmother were also in Nokanchira during the fight between the Germans and, and, the, and the Hereros. And during that time, every afternoon when we collect firewood, and she came somewhere there where the battle took place, and then she was crying all the afternoon when uh, sometimes uh, when we are going to collect um, firewood. And then I was asking and wondering, why do you cry every day when you are coming here? So it's a case on its own to report the Germans uh, in the court of law for raping. And then maintenance. Maintenance meaning that the German uh, fathers that were here should have to carry on maintain the children of today. So is the third generation of this one. If the words are so hostile, it is because times are hard in the desert regions. The majority of Namibia's population survives on less than $2 a day. And the poorest communities are indeed the tribes that were almost wiped out in the genocide. Many wonder what would have happened if 80% of the Herero population had not disappeared between 1904 and 1908. Probably our livelihood would have been completely different because um, uh, what they took from us um, has kept us, has held us back, was a constraint to our level of de development. This is why not only me, but um, all the people, Namas and Hereros, are saying, look, we, you need to redress this restitution to get us to where you would, we would have been had you not done what you did to us. More than 205,000 cattle were taken during the war. And considering birth rates, a drought every 10 years, and anything else that might affect it, today's herd would be estimated to be worth several billion dollars. The Herero also estimated that they lost 50 million hectares of land. 
Berlin has decided to finance development projects over 30 years in the seven regions affected by the 1904 war in order to compensate for the delay in development. In the Namibian capital, the German ambassador speaks of compensation, not reparation. It's not a case of giving money directly to the plaintiffs, as was the case for the Jewish genocide. That they have received reparations because, and only those who had been suffering in the concentration camps themselves, while here in that case also it's the second, third generation, fourth generation, who are um, considered to be who are the affected communities. Descendants of the victims demonstrated in front of the Namibian parliament in an attempt to prevent the ratification of the agreement between the Namibian and German authorities. The Herero, of course, were present. But also the Nama, who had come to express their skepticism at that large sum of money in the hands of the Namibian government. The issue has become political. Our history can't be on sale by a corrupt regime that we did not vote for. This regime is a corrupt regime. This regime doesn't represent our interests. Mafias, useless people in there. They take the diamonds, everything from the south, but they, they, they mislead the people of the south. That's why the southern people is here today, to come and to show them that they are not dogs, that they are people. We are sleeping on the sun. We doesn't have even a proper place to use toilet. We must go over the street to go and use toilets. When we go over the street and the trucks is passing by and they saw the ladies in the, in the toilet or in the bushes, they are just watering pump pump because there is no, no uh, uh, um, nice place for our ladies even to use toilet. A century ago, Herero and Nama people held two-thirds of the land. Half of the Nama population were also killed by colonial forces in the diamond-rich south. The remains of old concentration camps are a reminder of the sad past. People affected by the genocide are a minority now, but their claims divide the whole country. Swakopmund is a small coastal town where many descendants of German settlers stay but it is also the home to many Namibians of Nama origin. Anton used to be a member of parliament. His family has lived in Namibia for three generations. He was raised in Nama territory. We met him at the launch of Heritage Week at the Swakopmund Museum. Make sure you celebrate who you are and teach your children to celebrate who they are and to celebrate other cultures. Because we're so diverse in Namibia, it tends to lead to conflict. We are the people and we are the generation that can turn that around. Turn this, the conflict into celebration. Respect that somebody else does something different to you. Because that's the essence of who we are. Anton's grandfather arrived three weeks after the beginning of the Herero uprising on one of the first ships that came to reinforce the colonial troops. He was 19 years old. This monument where his name could have appeared is a tribute to young German soldiers. But as Anton explains, it's not a widely shared sentiment. And you can see some red spots on the stones there where people put red paint on them because they didn't like it. If the sentiments of the um, uh, of, of those that feel um, aggravated by the monuments are so strong that it uh, will affect our relationship among our different cultural and language groups, um, I would say then one would have to think of taking them down. Anton tried to find out who his grandfather was. He inquired at the archives in Munich, Freiburg and Berlin, but was told all documents on the German colonial troops were burned at the end of World War II. All he knows is that his grandfather married a girl that was sent from Germany. 
This is the only picture he has. It dates back to 1904. After the war, the soldier became a farmer. I was, of course, also aware that he might have played a role which I would not have liked, you know. Uh, but that is, for me, really also the past. Only realizing through my life and through my interaction with my compatriots of other cultural groups that for them that is not the case. Uh, so for me it is important that this um, reparations will make a difference for those that we are living with, together with, so that they can actually close that chapter. Time is suspended in Namibia. The descendants of the German soldiers' horses have formed wild herds. At present, everything reminds of the colonial past. Discussions will have to continue so that everyone can turn the page. Despite all the efforts that were made in the last 20 years, nobody has really succeeded in having a common reading of history. Caroline Dumay, Stefan Carstens, Sophie Lamotte and Nadine Theron revisiting Namibia for France 24. Well, that's all from this week's edition. Don't forget, of course, you can catch it and all the previous editions as well on our website at france24.com. More news coming up shortly. Thanks for watching.